Hey guys, so I'm here to do my one week weight loss update. So, as far as how the week has gone. I think I did actually really, really good. Um, I did not do any exercising this first week. I'm actually kind of interested to see how much I can lose without exercise because a lot of times you can lose a fairly decent amount of weight just on diet alone and then sometimes you hit that plateau and you just don't lose any more weight and that's when you got to kind of add on the exercise. So it isn't that I'm just not doing exercise on purpose completely though. I, it's of course, like I said, still football season. We are still busy and swamped. And then just the fact that I work all day and then I sometimes still have a little school work to do in the afternoons and I have classes that I have to do. Um, it just gets really, really overwhelming. So I've really not even had time for exercise anyway. No exercise this week. Um, I did weigh this morning, so this is Sunday. I'll try to do these updates every Sunday, uh, but this morning when I weighed, I weighed 187 point something. And I think last Sunday when I did this video, I weighed 194 point something. So I guess that's a seven pound weight loss for week one. Now, uh, when I did weigh last Sunday, I weighed like around noon. So that might have possibly made a little bit of a difference. Um, I've always been told it's best to weigh at the same time every time and typically I think it's good to weigh first thing in the morning after you pee but before you eat. And also I suggest weighing nude. That just gives you your total real body weight. So if I go by that, then last Monday morning, first thing in the morning I weighed and I weighed 192. Um, so see that was two pounds difference than Sunday. And I know I hold fluid, so that could have been that. I don't know. And then it's not Monday yet, so tomorrow I'll probably weigh again in the morning just because I'm curious. But basically, I weighed this morning, no clothes on, first thing after I peed, but before I ate. And that's what I'm going to do every Sunday. And I'll just go with what I weigh every Sunday. So according to last Sunday's weight, I've lost about seven pounds. But it's really probably anywhere between five and seven. As far as um, what I think the weight loss was contributed to. I feel like it's mostly fluid that I lost. I'm not like, yes, of course, I'm excited to see some pounds come off, but it was probably just fluid because I tend to hold fluid like really bad, probably more than most people. I just am really puffy in the mornings. My hands are always swollen, which could be the fact that I might possibly have arthritis. I've got to get that checked, by the way. Um, but I do know that I hold fluid really bad. I just, I can feel full of fluid a lot of times. So I feel like most of that was probably fluid. I did manage to stick to the tea. I did the Yogi Detox Tea every single night. I've done it every night for a week. Um, so I don't know. I can't sit here and say 100% if I think it's working. It did say if you want to do the tea every night for 30 days, you can. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it every night for 30 days. And then if you want to continue it, you're supposed to stop for a week and then start back on it. So we'll see. I really want to kind of see what my thoughts are after a month. Because normally, I always lose a lot of weight the first week, which is probably mostly from fluid. And in week two and week three, I sometimes lose a couple pounds. Um, but it's after that that a lot of times my weight is much slower. So I'm interested to see if my weight is kind of steady. It might be because of the tea. Uh, any um, reactions or side effects from the tea? Uh, one thing I do love is it did not hit me like a laxative like a lot of these detox teas do. I didn't have to like go number two. I did find myself having to go pee a lot though. Normally at work, I pee about three times a day, and this whole week, I have needed to go like five or six times a day, and not like a little bit like bad, and I've, I've been drinking the same amount this week that I always drink. I haven't changed anything up with that, so I feel like maybe that tea is de was detoxing me in a different way. It was like cleaning out junk, but through my bladder, through my urine, but I felt like because of that, it might have almost wanted to get me a little dehydrated. I had dry mouth later on in the week, but not like serious, severe dry mouth, just a little bit. So I drank um, a lot of water when I got home, which I tend to drink a pretty good bit of water anyway. 
but I was just really, really thirsty and I was peeing so much. So the tea is disgusting. Now I'm not a tea drinker at all anyway. I really don't like teas and I'm not used to like just something that's 100% pure herbal drink like that. And obviously I'm not an herbal fan. Like the smell alone made me so nauseous. It was disgusting. And so because it smelled so strong, I feel like it made it taste even grosser. And I added about half a tablespoon of honey. I didn't want to put a ton. The honey might have helped a hair, but not enough. Like, it took the grossness down from like a 10 to a 9. Now, that's just my opinion. I've read other reviews where people said they actually liked the tea. My husband finally um, took a sip of it, and even my son tried a sip of it. One of my sons. And both of them said they actually kind of liked it in a weird way. So, I don't know. I do know that I have very sensitive taste buds, so, you know, don't go by just my reaction. <laughs> Uh, but actually, this is going to sound so crazy. I'll try to remember to insert a picture. If not, you got to follow me on Instagram because I think I posted a picture or did I? I can't even remember. If I, if I, I'm going to go back and check that. If I didn't, I'm going to post a picture on Instagram. But it's me one night holding my cup of tea and I found a clothespin to, to pinch my nose with. But it wasn't like a little mini clothespin or an average size. This is like mega jumbo clothespin. I don't even remember where I got it from. It's like massive size clothespin. And I clipped it to my nose and literally it's such a tight squeeze. It kind of hurts a little bit. But it's such a tight squeeze that not only can I not smell the tea, I couldn't even taste it. So like I'm a little nauseated when I drink it still, mostly because I feel like I can smell it, but I can't. It's just like all in my head. I remember what it smells like. Um, but for the most part, I can drink it now without a problem. It just tastes like hot water. So that's, that's what's worked. And I ate really good. I feel like this week I ate way more clean. Did a lot more clean eating than I normally would eat. Typically for morning, I would have two of my toaster waffles. Um, they're gluten-free cinnamon waffles, and they're within my calorie range. And I'm trying to stick to 1,500 calories a day. Um, and I have a cup of coffee. And then for lunch, I had vegetables most days, like just the kind you can steam in the microwave, like the frozen veggies. I took like Brussels sprouts one day. I took a mixed veggies one day. And they're actually really filling. And of course, I love my vegetables. It was tasty. And um, some days I would bring a banana and a yogurt to eat along with the veggies. I did take one of my gluten-free burritos one day. It's... Um, it's a vegetarian burrito. There's no meat in it, and it's gluten-free. And I actually bought one that has no cheese in it either. So it's like a vegan burrito. It's so delicious, though. Um, so I did eat that one day. Um, and then I drink water all through the day at work. I drink it with my lunch. And then at supper, I would just eat whatever I cooked. I did try to buy somewhat healthier meals last week. It can't be too, too healthy. My kids wouldn't eat it. My husband wouldn't eat it. I make it where it's healthy, but not like overly healthy. Um, so it's just your average dinner. And I can't remember what all I fixed last week. Um, but I stuck to my 1,500 calories every day. Uh, for a snack at night, I did eat one of my 90 calorie fiber one brownies, which are so good if you put them in the fridge. It makes them like really chewy. It's like a chewy, delicious brownie. And uh, like I mentioned in my last video, I cannot completely get rid of soda. So I did drink my one soda at night. That's just something that brings me joy to be honest. And some nights I actually had enough calories left over. I could have a bag of popcorn as an extra snack at night if I wanted. Um, now, the, when the weekend came, that's my weakness. So, on Fridays and Saturdays is when we usually eat our most unhealthy. Those two nights, it's weekend nights, right? So, uh, Friday we did get pizza from Little Caesars. And I actually could eat two slices and still have enough calories for the day, but I ended up eating three. And actually, I was con content after two. I'm still into those old habits where just because it's delicious, even though I'm full, because it's delicious, I can't quit eating it. So I had to go get another piece. So it did take me over my calories by 287. So I'm, I just pretty much decided to consider that my one cheat night of the week and I feel like I really didn't do bad by only going over my calories by about 300 um, because used to on the weekends I would go over by like a thousand or two even two thousand to be honest um, so that wasn't too bad and then on Saturday I did do a little bit unhealthy eating again but I did stick to my calories we wanted the TGI Friday um, barbecue chicken wings so I picked up some from Walmart and I was able to eat half of those with a little ranch um, and still be within my calories because I didn't eat quite as much during the day for lunch and stuff. So 
again, a little unhealthy Friday and Saturday, but I technically only went over my calories on Friday and it was only about 300. So I feel like I really had a good balance to the week. Um, today's Sunday again, and again, I'm sticking to my calories and I, I eat super healthy Sunday through Thursday. And then I decided to let my more unhealthy nights be Friday and Saturday, but I really don't want to try to go over my calories at all, except maybe one night a week. So that's kind of how this week went. I didn't want this video to be quite this long. I was trying to stick to like shorter updates, but I kind of wanted to um, give you all an update on how everything went. So that's pretty much it for this week. Like I said, I guess technically I lost between five and seven pounds. Maybe we should call it six to average it out. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I will update y'all again next week. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Guys, let me know how your weight loss journey is going. If y'all were on a weight loss journey or dieting or any of that. And I think that's it. So I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye.